Hi guys and welcome back to another video of the level 3 charging. In this video we will talk about how to charge your Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV on the Flow Network. These charging stations are available at the region of Peel offices absolutely free. To start you have to download the Flow app from your iOS or your Android platform. Once you do, you go through the regular registration process. You can opt to have a physical card delivered to you or not. I decided not to because the app works just fine. I will show you how to authorize. Now, at the lower bottom uh, corner of the app, you see that there are three icons to the extreme right. You see that it has uh, a search feature. Uh, you just uh, you just uh, tap on the one in the middle, and it basically uh, starts searching uh, what's nearest to you. And as you can see, the green uh, icon on the screen. I tap that, which brings me to the charging station. Now you see that all of these uh, charging stations are for the Peel region. Uh, now uh, the one, two, three four five so the top four are all all j1772 which is a level two charger you go to the fifth one at the bottom which is which says aac0057 and it has as you can see the chatmo as well as the sae combo connector you tap on it once you do and it says station available because obviously i'm parked here and there's nobody else here you say start session tap on it and again it says card balance zero because it's free you tap on it again and now it will start the authorization process and because the car is not plugged in it will say this now I will go ahead and plug in the car that's the Chatamo connector this one right here I will plug it in and then as you can see it says press the start button which I will and now it will go through a series of tests and then initiate the charging as you can see it has detected the Chatmo vehicle and again you will see that it detected the charging level at 30%. We already saw it at 29% at IKEA and charge point. So now we know that it never goes down to zero. And again, from 30 to 80%, it will uh, take about 20 minutes. And uh, see, it's already at 31%. Uh, it is fast charging. Uh, and it will also stop at 80%. And I will now uh, switch back to the app and show you how it uh, displays on the app. And then we'll come back and uh, see how long it took to charge. All right, guys. So we authorized uh, the charging from the app. And then we plugged it in and we pressed the start button. And we saw that uh, the charging station ran a series of tests and started charging. Now we will launch the app again and see what happens. So it refreshed, and before it was saying that vehicle not connected, now it's saying charging in progress. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen right here, the cost is zero dollars. Uh, so there's uh, no cost associated. Uh, the good thing about this is I don't really have to go back to show you uh, how much... Uh, charges remaining and how much time and everything see this is what i like it actually has duration instead of like that silly uh charging station at ikea which had an estimated time of uh, 58 minutes for some reason i don't know why uh that was absolutely uh uh just 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 wrong like i don't know why they did it this way elapsed time is what matters and that's exactly what's happening here so i'm going to stop the video here and then um I resume once so we get close to 80 percent see you soon hi guys as you can see uh the session completed at 80 percent it stopped charging and it took uh 
just under 18 minutes. So it was actually, the first one was around what, uh, 19 minutes at Ikea, 19 and some change, and then it was about 20 minutes and some change at Charge Point, and now it's like uh, well under 20 minutes. So uh, as you can see from uh, 30 to 80%, so the 50% of charge you can do under uh, 20 minutes or at about 20 minutes. Uh, I will also show you what the uh, charging station displays. All right, guys, as you can see, the charging uh, has been completed and it just uh, stopped. Uh, initially, it will ask you to uh, press the stop button. Uh, and, if it do and if you don't do it for a few minutes, then it will just stop automatically. So all you really have to do is just press this yellow button inside and unplug the charger and just put it back and, and you're done free level three charging a big shout out to the region of Peel this particular location is at the Bramley City Center it's right behind the uh, region of Peel building uh, by the parking lot you have to come down here and behind all right guys you can see I gained uh, 21 kilometers it was actually 22 I, <laughs> I just uh, uh, I have uh, the air conditioning running, so uh, it's consuming uh, energy right now. Actually, the car is uh, it's a decent temperature, so I can even turn it off. So, anyways. Oh, there you go. The moment I turned it off, it went up to 27 kilometers. Uh, this is another thing I wanted to show you, and it just happened by accident. Uh, that so when you use your climate control... Uh, you do sacrifice about five to six kilometers uh, of range, which is what I've noticed, and I just demonstrated it. Uh, so it's 27 kilometers, and if I turn on the climate control, it goes down to 21 kilometers. If I turn it off, it goes up to 27. So really, if you want to get the maximum range, uh, the best uh, way is to... Uh, if it's uh, winters, warm up your car at home. When it's plugged in, if it's uh, summers, then cool it while it's plugged in. Obviously, it's not going to last for too long, but it will help you for the first half an hour of your commute at least. So you'll uh, you'll save some energy there. So there you go. This was the last video uh, in the Level 3 charging series. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you found it informative and enjoyed. Thanks for watching.